Hello everybody, Ragtag Sagby here. Welcome to the next episode. In the last episode, after we rescued Ashley, we ran, we ran through the village and all the way to this house where we had to hold off against the Ganados. Luckily, we had Lewis by our side here to help, help hold them off. They eventually decided to give up and now, now it's time for us to get going. Alright, but before we head off, if you do enjoy these episodes and do like the videos, it helps tremendously, and do subscribe if you haven't already, it doesn't cost you a thing to do so. So anyway, you can have a quick look around the house, however, one thing to note, I think any items that would have been dropped by the Ganados at the end of the chapter will be lost. Um, so you need to make sure you grab everything before the chapter ended. So yeah. Uh, let's make our way out of here. I believe we don't have much of the village section left. I think we have... I think one boss fight, and then technically two bosses after that, and then yeah. Oh shit. We're already at the, at the choice already? I thought that wasn't until a little later on. I thought that wasn't until af- If this is what I think it is, then yeah, I thought this wasn't until after the, um... The boss fight. Holy shit. Well, here's a typewriter we can save. While I'm saving, uh, at the time I'm recording this, which would be the 15th that I'm recording this, we just saw news of Resident Evil 4 Remake, and I look ex and I am excited for it because it looks like they're going to be completely remaking Resident Evil 4 and be reimagining it. They even mentioned that the Ganados have been reimagined, so I'm curious to see what Resident Evil 4 Remake is going to be and what changes they're going to make to to it. Anyway, two routes. Just a while ago, I was informed by Lord Sattler that our men had shot down a United States military helicopter, so they were the ones that shot it down. Oh, there shouldn't be any more outside interference for a while now. Unless the United States government determines who the traitor is, they can only, only initiate a very small, all covert operations. We must use this time um, to our advantage and recapture the girl. The two Americans can only get out of our territory by using one of two routes. This is where we'll stop them. We shall make use of our forces to the greatest degree. We will deploy a large number of Ganados in one of the routes to ensure they do not slip by us. For the other route, we shall leave the task to an El Gigante. Hey, whichever route they take, the agent will never leave here alive, not with the girl at least. So yeah, we have two routes. We can technically do both routes if we want to reap the rewards from both routes. Which, idiotic me, I'm going to be doing. One route is considered more dangerous than Welcome. the other. The Ganado route Was is considered more dangerous than the Elki Donkey uh, route. What are you buying? Uh, okay, so you don't have the new case. I don't think you get that until the next area. Yeah, I don't think you get the new size for my case until I think when we get to the next area, which is I think the next chapter or the chapter after that. What are you buying? Um. Is yeah, let's up strength? my <laughs> TMP's Thank capacity. You. Come back anytime. So desperately needed for one of the routes. Who boy? Let's open up this gate first. Now, you can do both routes if you uh, go into a route, finish it, and then come back in the way you came instead of uh, leaving. Leaving from the exit. Now, the El Gigante route is considered easier, and you're going to see why when we do this one. This one should be the Ganado group. <sighs> well, hello! And 
immediately tell Ashley to hide in, in there. Even if they see her uh, hide in there, they will not be able to pull her out. Ow, that was fair. Throw an axe I can see. Oh, that was bullshit. Let's get, let's get somewhere where there's a little bit more room. So, it may not seem as, as bad at first. You know, this is a whole lot of Ganados. But trust me, it gets bad when you start thinning out their numbers. Oh god damn it, of course you're a plogus. Are you applaud? Ah, god damn it, stupid axe. Oh! I have no healing items. That's just perfect. Alright, so we dealt with the first wave of Ganados. And you may be thinking that's not too bad. Um, let's call Ashley out and go back to the typewriter because I do not want to redo that battle again. <sighs> this is gonna suck if I can't find any health because the L because of the LG Gante. I'm gonna state that right now. Because this house siege is like, yeah, let's make sure you have no healing items for this segment. Absolutely none. So I recommend having your guns, like your shotguns or uh, TMP. Because this is where the fun begins. Those Ganados weren't the only enemies that are in this route. There is a very special enemy, a very unique set of enemies that we can only discover here. And I believe they spawn the moment we jump down there. Oh, thank God, an herb. Uh, I'll hang on to that herb. Oh, I am not looking forward to this. Meet the Ganado sisters! And I mean sisters in plural, because there are two of them, and as you can guess, they behave exactly like the Chainsaw Guys. They also bring forth with them reinforcements. So 
So this is very important. You want to be listening out for the sounds of the chainsaw. Grenade, no, I do not. God damn it. Oh, that's an herb right there, but I'm not gonna chance running through the Ganados to go grab it. Where are they? Where the hell are the Ganado sisters? Oh. Oh good, they're dead. The neat thing about the Ganado sisters is that when you kill them, one will drop a movie, the other will drop a camp key. Uh, also, I believe the Ganado sisters, I believe between each other, don't have as much health as the Chainsaw guys. And they are also easier to stun than the Chainsaw guys. But still, they are an utter nightmare because you have two enemies that can you know, potentially instant kill you if their attacks hit chasing after you. Which is not fun for anybody. Okay, what enemy is still in this area? Because the music is still going crazy as if there's something here. Yeah, that was the Ganado sisters, and god damn, I hate them. I will say this, when, if I ever do the remake of Resident Evil 4, I am likely gonna do a New Game Plus run, while I have all my upgraded guns. Because Jesus Christ, I hate the Ganado sisters. Use this key to unlock this door. Should lead to more loot. And potentially wherever this last enemy is, because the music is still going absolutely nuts. Okay, you are all a joke compared to what I just had to go through. You catch on fire. You can lose your head. Oh, Jesus Christ, how many are there? A grenade would have been really useful right about now. Of course, most of you are lost bloggers. Off. Hey, you die.
I was only expecting one more enemy to be coming through that door, not a woman that could run at me. Get up here. Lock this down so they have to take a long way. Oh, apparently that killed that woman. Grab all their loot. Wait, there's still enemies? Let's grab everything. Reload, so that took up quite a lot of my ammo. I think I might get the uh, capacity upgrade for the shotgun so I can reload the shoddy. Just grab that herb. We unbarred the gate. Now let's go back to Ashley and check out the other route. The other route is easier because we're just going to be fighting an El Gigante, but there's also ways to deal with the El Gigante if, um, if done properly. Alright, why is the music kicking back up? Is there... Where are their enemies? I don't see enemies, so I don't know why the music's getting epic all of a sudden, for epic and foreboding all of a sudden. That's really weird. Okay, he was stuck by the cart, that explains why. Come on out, Ashley. Now let's head back to the good old merchant. Maybe upgrade the capacity of my shoddy. And also, um, save so I don't have to do that route again. And in case I die to the LG Dante. Selection of good feelings. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Thank you. Come back any time. Let's open the other path. I hope to God I do this right. There's, so this is the El Gigante route. Now, I believe if we look up, there should be boulders. Also, do not tell Asha to wait here because the El Gigante will target her. And it does not give a damn about Ashley if she's alive or dead. I will preemptively do this. So she'll point towards the boulder. That will do a shit ton of damage to the El Gigante.
Get down. Okay, I thought there was one more boulder, but apparently not. Come on, how that grabbed me? <laughs> Alright, screw the El Gigante. I think I'm just gonna exit out for the Ganado route. I thought there was at least three boulders that you could drop on it, which would instant kill the damn thing. Ah, oh, and it would suck too, because there's items we can grab in this route. Not to mention the El Dante gives us a lot of money. Screw it. We'll just exit out from where the Ganado sisters are. If I do RE4 remake, and the remake has uh, the El Gigante in it, then I will definitely go through that. Because by then, if it keeps this similar system, I will likely have fully upgraded guns and possibly maybe even a rocket launcher. But at least I showed off what the route was like. You could technically leave the LT Conte route. It is just you don't get the rewards from it. I actually missed this area. Just give me shotgun ammo. Where are you going, Leon? Yeah, shut up, Ashley. I'm collecting ammo. You were hiding in a dumpster. You did not see the fighting I had to do. Yeah. I didn't want to catch you, Ashley. I actually wanted to go up the ladder. this down all right Can we exit out here there's our good friend the merchant there's also this door that happens to be here it won't open. I guess this is the only way out of the village. This slide looks like it's some sort of rectal scanner. Hmm, a rectal scan, huh? Come in here, there's a typewriter. You also get this, the village's last defense. I've clearly underestimated the American agent's capability. He is still alive. I thought that we could wait until the egg hatch, but at this rate, he could destroy the whole village before it does. We must take care of this, of this nuisance. We shall change our priorities. For the time being, we will cease our hunt for Lucius and ambush the two Americans. There is a building used to enlighten betrayer, uh, betrayers just beyond the point where you get off the lift. It is a perfect place for ambushing them. If all else fails, They'll still need to face me in order to get past the last gate that leads out the village. For only before my sight will the gate open. So it sounds like we need the village chief's eye if we want to get through that door. So let's save and in the next episode we will go find the village chief. 
If you enjoyed this episode, then do like the video as it helps tremendously. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below or the, or on your thoughts in this episode. And share the, and, and, I was about to say, and share the Americans. <laughs> and share the video so more people can discover my content and help it grow. And I'll see you all next time. Later.